Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Accenture then you must have to give importance to the back-end coding questions which can be repeated in your case because I have got personal experience, I have got personal feedback from the candidates that they are getting repeated questions from the earliest and earlier sections, earlier uh, rounds. So if you have been going through the latest questions, if you have been going through the previous year questions, then you are going to get the repeated questions. Why? Because Marshall Metal was conducting the exam earlier and they are conducting this year as well. So if you are preparing, then please follow the previous year questions and the latest slots questions. Okay. Now let me share the most repeated questions which was asked on 2024, but that can be repeated in your case. So just before that guys, please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and let me know which content you want more. If you want me to upload more uh, technical questions or any uh, game based questions or communication assessment or interview experience, anything, then please comment down. And if you are facing any issue, then let me know in the comment section so that I can make a solution video in the next time. Okay. So I hope you'll do so. Now let me discuss the question. Hey, you ready for the future attack? No, you have this here. With premium prep materials, no need to fear. Cognizant Accenture TCS and more. We'll get you ready. Open up that door. So hi everyone, my name is Shodish Gupta. So today we are going to discuss again another question. Uh, which was appeared on the examination of Accenture, placement examination of Accenture on the date of 16th August, 23rd August, 24th August. So it it was it got it was got repeated uh, total three days. So it's a, in the point uh, exam point of view, it's a very much important question. So let's start uh, discuss this question. So the name of the question is po poet and rhymes. So the story is like a poet has asked you for assistance in uh, writing poems. He has given you a string S and a d uh, dictionary D and he asks you to find from the dictionary. A word which rhymes best with S words are said to rhyme when the last syllables of the words are the same like cave gave. We can see that the third uh, last three word uh, letters in both the words are the strings are same or typical and critical the words will be deemed to rhyme based if the last few characters of the words match the most okay your task is to find and return a string value denoting the word which rhymes best with s from the dictionary d if no such word is found return the string no word if there is no similarity then we can return no word okay so the input type is uh, it will take an input value a string value s representing the single word the particular word from which we need to check a string array d representing the dictionary and the integer value representing the length of the array d okay and uh, the output specification is return a string value denoting the word which rhymes best with s from the dictionary d if no such word is found return the string no word okay so the example is like there is a input called thunder and the ex uh, options are puzzle thunder powder blender under so in the first one the puzzle it's nothing is similar here from the last so, but from the thunder the both are the same for in this case we can see that here it's mentioned the second word thunder is exactly the same or same word as the given word so it will not be uh, considered as a rhyming word okay and after that it's powder you can see that the last three characters or letters are similar so there's there is some similarity for blender it's four n d e r n d e r and for under there are five characters are similar to the thunder under u n d e r in the thunder also you can find that u n d e r these many characters so this is the problem so i have written down the code in java before story shows the answers i want you to have the best prime materials which is having all the rounds questions from the gamified questions which you can play directly in the system and also pseudo code questions cloud and networking questions coding questions with answers sql questions back end front end communication assessment and all the questions are updated up to today and it will keep updating also you will get unlimited access and instant access so please get through that because it's, you know burgers price movie tickets all are more than expensive than this okay so please 
spend few few monies for your career okay i hope you will do so and in these days guys tcs accenture cognizant uh capgemini and hcl infosys many companies are hiring so if you are going through any of these companies then follow the playlist and follow the materials at top main total slash technology uf you can go through the plan lot in which you will get all the top 25 mnc's questions okay all the product based and service based companies questions which you can get only at 5.99 oh sorry actually it should be lesser than that up to 20 percent off so please use india as the uh, coupon code you can get more than that okay so i hope you will go through the link provided in the description box or in the comment section please remind that top mentor has dash technology uf i hope you will do so so let's discuss so see like i have uh, written down a code uh, i have used my logic you can use your logic there is no issue you can also modify this uh, log uh, code and uh, you so please uh, if you if, if you have done this one then you can paste that uh, modified code in the chat so, or sorry in the comment section we can it, it will help us also so let's start the code so in the first in the main function i am just taking that inputs that uh, string particular string here i am taking k in the place of s that size of that uh, uh, string array and the string and is there initializing, initializing the string array and uh, using a loop to take the input of the array and here i have initialized a static variable return type is string static method return type is string so i'm calling here and that in that uh, method i have initialized a hash map hash map is part of uh, a collection framework of java where we can store the data in the form of key value pair so in the uh, the key value will be type of integer and the value type will be string in this hash map p okay so initializing and variable max with zero and starting a loop here int i is equal to zero i less than d dot length i plus plus so in this method i am passing two arguments one is that string another one is that array okay so i'm initializing i from zero and the iterator and uh, limiting it uh, in the length of that array so in the first one i am just checking if d i dot contain equals means like equals k means like i have already discussed that i am uh, taking uh, accepting this type of examples like thunder and then in that uh, area also there is a string thunder so both everything is same so it will it should not be acceptable so it's not accepted here so i'm just doing uh, passing that uh, i'm just entering the here continue it will go to the next iteration in the else part i'm uh, calling another method it's also a public static int method static method check match i'm passing that particular string k and that array um, element di ith element okay here what i'm doing i'm initializing an uh, integer variable mean length and i'm checking that in the in these two, two strings s1 and s2 s1 is representing k s2 is representing di the ith element of the uh, string array d so now which one of these two uh, strings have the shortest uh, less uh, lesser length so s1 dot length uh, comma s2 dot length math dot mean in the through this method i am just checking and uh, the i'm uh, storing that minimum length in the variable mean length i'm initializing another variable called count and starting a loop here again um, starting uh, the iterator j from zero and limiting it at mean length this mean length and j plus plus so i'm checking here if s1 dot caret s1 dot length minus j minus one at it means that i am checking from the last character of every string if it satisfies in the both the strings then i can increase that one the count variable else i can break break out from that loop okay and i can return that count okay as because whenever i will get non matchable things like in the thunder uh, in the powder 
the D are the same. Whenever I'm going to, uh, I'm getting W and N. These these two characters are not same. So on that time, I'm just coming out from that loop. So that's why I'm given the statement break. So these are the thing and returning the count variable here. So I'm storing that count variable in the variable integer variable L. And checking if l greater than max, we have seen uh, seen that I have already mentioned that I have initialized the max variable for, from zero. If l greater than max, then I am storing the value of l inside the variable max and putting that value of l and that uh, string value of that means that ith element of the string uh, array d in the hash map p dot put l comma di. Okay, so and uh, here i'm checking if max not equal to zero suppose like there is n uh, nothing any uh, string is present in that array which is uh, getting which has any single character present uh, same as in the uh, specified uh, string s okay on that case it will uh, return if the, that is max equal to equal to become zero then on that time the max value will be always be zero because we will not get any of any value as count the count value will be also zero and the max value will also be zero so for the every actually on that uh, case for the every element uh, it will return the count value as zero so the max value will be also zero so it will return as zero so on that time if it becomes uh, in every case the count value will be zero then max value will be also, also zero then we can return no word here so but if there is similarities then the maximum one will uh, set in that value of, save uh, store in the value of max in the variable max and we will return that p dot get max as because I have uh, stored as integer string the key value will be integer so I can fetch the value of string by the get method in that hash map p p dot get that mass max as because I am uh, storing that integer value in the var variable max okay so that's the thing I'm doing here so p uh, dot get max in this way i'm checking so for puzzle it will be zero as because it's uh, there is nothing similar here it will return zero so max value will be remain zero on that time for the second one thunder thunder and thunder both are same so it will ignore and it will go to the next iteration there also is powder for powder last three digits are same last three char uh, characters are same der so it will uh, count value will be increased to 3 value of 3 and it will return 3 so in that time the max value is 0 so 3 greater than max 3 greater than 0 so and then the value of l means the 3 will be stored into uh, into the max and it will be stored as in this way in that hash map 3 comma um, the string is powder and the previous uh, ones will be stored as 0 comma puzzle ok so in this way we are doing this one and for the final one under it will be stored as 5 as because total 5 characters are similar in that uh, st string thunder also for uh, powder it will store 3 and for the blender it will return 4 and 4 greater than 3 it will be updated as 4 and we will put as 4 comma powder uh, I am sorry it's, it will be powder or not let me check again I am sorry uh, I am sorry ah here uh, for four, sorry for four comma blender and for the under it will return five and it will be the max value will be again increased to five and it will store uh, store 
f uh, and in that uh, hash map it will be stored as 5 comma under so now it will check if max not equal to 0 yes max value is 5 so it will not return anything uh, sorry it's not equal to 0 and it will return p dot get max through the get method i am fetching that uh, va value part where the key is max max means 5 here so it will return under okay so let's run the code so enter the string thunder enter the size 5 puzzle thunder powder blender under so as per the rule uh, law for my logic the return should be under you can see that re the result is under okay so again run the code again string thunder enter the length of the uh, suppose i'm taking now four i'm taking puzzle um, thunder again and uh, suppose I'm taking another one um, like a cat dog anything I can take so the return should be no word so what I'm checking here actually I'm taking the minimum value so suppose like that under the uh, length of under is less 5 so on that time I will iterate that this for loop only up to the length of that smaller uh, length okay up to the length of that the length of uh, string under okay so in this way we will check because after this if we check uh, for that uh, this uh, loop uh, this uh, string as well then we can get error okay so this is the thing so this is the code and if you have any modified uh, solution then you can also provide us that solution you can also paste that one in the comment section as well so thank you all the best for the next exam for accenture bye bye please subscribe to techno uf and don't forget to like and share with your friends